When it comes to determining how many calories or how much food you can be consuming, there's three methods, okay? The first and simple method is to use one of our in-body scales that's gonna factor in your weight, your height, your age, your muscle mass, your visceral fat, and your body fat. And then it's gonna shoot you out a number that says that if you just stick to these calories, then you're not gonna gain and you're not gonna lose. Those numbers are gonna remain the same, okay? The downfall with that is that it doesn't factor in your activity levels, okay? So if you're burning 400 calories from working out and you're burning 100 calories from like walking to work or doing laundry or whatever it is, it doesn't factor that in there. So if you're eating just the number that the scale kicks out, you might actually be under eating, which leads to number two is that these smartwatches, which I absolutely love and I use them to determine a base calorie of how much you're actually burning in a day, they are more accurate than the scale in my opinion because it is factoring in exactly how many calories you're burning based around your heart rate. Now here's the thing, it doesn't factor in your level of fitness. The fitter you get, the more you work out, the more conditioned you get, the less like your bot, your heart rate has to work and you don't want your heart rate to be racing all the time. You don't want it to be beating like this 24 seven. And yeah, you're going to burn a ton of calories and you'll wither down to nothing. But if your heart rate is elevated like that for a long sustained period of time, you're more likely going to die. And so the watch when you're working out, as you get fitter, you might get stronger and lifting heavier weights at a slower pace you're not gonna burn calories because the heart rate doesn't, it's not like bah, 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 trying to keep up. When you do like running, jumping, and like speed stuff, your heart rate is gonna be elevated because it's moving faster. But when you're lifting slower weights, you're actually, the heart rate doesn't have to work as hard because it's just shooting out one big pump. The difference between the two, and you're like, well, I just wanna do cardio then, but then you'll never really build any muscle. And so when you lift heavier weights that you can handle, right? then what happens is it's actually more metabolically taxing on your system and you actually burn more calories by lifting heavier weights. You just, your, your watch won't read it. So is the watch the most accurate way? It's not. So what do I use? The stuff or starve method. You never wanna be stuffed for too long because then that means that you're eating too many calories. It's just simple. I don't need to track that. I know that I'm overeating. You don't wanna be starving. Right? You can starve a little, right? You can starve for a couple hours, you can starve for half a day, you can even starve for a couple days. But you don't want to be starving for like two or three weeks, right? You want to be hungry. And I assess that level with every one of our clients is what where where are you? Like let's determine that number where you feel best, okay? And once we determine that number that it feels best, we're making weekly adjustments to that because some weeks you might be hardcore working out, some weeks you might be hardcore just resting and recovering. You might have a busy work week. Either way, we have to determine that on a week to week basis. So general rule of thumb, the simplest method, if you don't have a watch, you don't have a scale, you don't have a coach, is you never wanna be stuffed and you never wanna starve. But you always wanna be hungry.